Alex Herter here with Minnesota Monthly Magazine, and I am here at Piccolo with owner and executive chef Doug Flicker, who was also our big grand prize winner last, last year. year at the, show, the yeah. Chef Challenge. Yep. Yeah, so welcome back. Thank you very much. Very excited to do it again this year. Yeah. So um, tell me a little bit about what are kind of the most exciting things or the most interesting things that you found in the challenge last year? Um, you know, I think uh, aside from the level of, of the competition um, being stiff, um, working in a new environment, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the burners, the electric burners. I mean, you're so used to working in your own kitchen and you take for granted space, you know, everything, all the tools that you have. And when you go through these processes of creating things, in the back of your mind, you know what you have. So like going into the pantry and being like, uh, you know, where is everything? Yeah. Or, you know, how fast is something going to reduce how hot the burners are? That, that was the biggest challenge, I think. Yeah, well. I, I learned quickly. <laughs> Congratulations. We're excited to have you back. Um, so um, at Piccolo, can you tell me a little bit about the food that you create, sure. kind of your concept? Sure. Um, it's, it's kind of a small plates concept, uh, tasting menu style. Uh, it's uh, 12 savory and uh, three desserts, and you can pick and choose. We also have a, uh, a five course option, uh, but we tend to deal with uh, things like offal and pig's feet, uh, things that are a little less used, uh, yeah. a little risk and reward, uh, and try to pair them in ways that uh, are new and challenging. Great, and you guys have a new concept coming out this yes. summer. Yes, uh, my wife and I are uh, putting something together at Lake Nokomis at the concession stand. It'll be called Sandcastle. Uh, it'll be open uh, hopefully early summer. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, it'll be kind of like a, a sea salt kind of thing on Nokomis right by the beach. Uh, Concession-ish, uh, we'll have beer and wine, uh, all sorts of food stuff. As somebody who frequents Lake Nokomis, I'm very excited. It's a this. fantastic lake. It really yeah. is. Uh, and it's uh, near my house and halfway between here and Piccolo. And yeah, very excited for the project to kind of uh, be able to do other things too. We've got a couple hot dogs. There's a, a hot dog called the Dog Flicker. Nice. Uh, yep, which will be a hot dog with a kimchi fried egg and a cilantro. Very yeah. fancy stuff. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little twist on it, of course, can't just leave it alone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, excited to do that. Kind of excited to work on a beach. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. I don't know. It's pretty lovely. Yeah. So I know that you're in the kitchen all the time, yes. and now even more so with the new place opening up. Where do you, do you cook at home? Do you like to go out? What are your favorites? You know, I, I try to find a balance. Um, you know, it, it's nice to, to have a nice relaxing meal at home and, and cook for my wife. But at the same time, I spend so much time cooking that there is nothing like sitting down and having someone else. Uh, do the cooking for me so um, yeah I mean there's and there, there's such a wealth of places to go uh, yep. yeah today um, but yeah I mean and it ranges everything from uh, Cecil's for a, for a Reuben uh, Matt's bar for a, a Juicy Lucy uh, the, the tofu house on uh, off of Washington for uh, Korean soup uh, Travail is a blast Tilia oh, so much fun Hout Dish uh, Bachelor Farmer I mean there's, there's the tons list of goes places. On. Yeah, yeah, it, it really does, and there there are many obviously that uh, I'm forgetting or don't get to enough. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, yeah, Doug. No sweat. Thank you. And make sure to come down to the Mall of America to root on Doug and the seven other chefs competing in this year's challenge. First weekend in April, April sixth and seventh. Thanks. Thank you.